everybody and today's tutorial is going to be on how to add a logo to your drop mark image so if I wanted to add a logo here and have my logo on my drop mark image to brand myself or my business or to brand the business I'm doing the drop mark image for I need a piece of software in order to do that. Today we're going to talk about GIMP. GIMP is an image manipulation program and it's freely distributed and you can come to GIMP.org and click on download to get the most current stable version of 2.8.16. You can click on download and download and install this program on your computer. Once you install the, log the software on your computer, it will give you an icon on your desktop and then you just double click it to open the program. When the program opens, you're going to have a toolbar on your left and you're going to have your work area and layers on your right. You're going to click on file and you're going to click on open and you're going to find a image that you have saved on your computer that you created in Dropmark. So for demonstration purposes, I'm going to find the program um, that I just showed you, the graphic. So let me just find this graphic. Okay, so when you click on the image, it will give you a preview, and then you can select to open. When you open your image, the next thing you would do is click on File, and you will open as a layer. And now you will go to where you have your logo saved on your computer. In my case, I have a folder and I have some logos here and I'm going to click on the logo and look at the preview and I can see that this one here is transparent because I'm seeing the checkerboard and we want to use a transparent image if possible so let me select this one here and I'll click to open and now the image has opened and I have to resize this so on the left hand side we have some tools here and the first thing I'm going to select is the scale scale tool and I'll select the scale tool and then I'll click and I could drag this or I can come to the toolbar and I could set the width and height or because I dragged I can just sit, click scale and now if I want to move that I can come to the move tool and click on this and move it to a position where I want it and now all I have to do is select to export as a PNG file and to name it and I'm going to name this number three because I already have number two that I've done before and I'll click on export And now it's going to ask me to save it. And you really don't need to be concerned about this, but I want to save the color values because I don't want to distort the colors. And I'm going to save the background color and I'm just going to click export. And now it's done. So now if I open up my um, folder, I can see that this is coffee cup number two and it should have added let me just close that and go back to my folder, pitches, and Lily number three, Lily Coffee number two. And if I click that, here is number three with my new logo. And all I have to do now is I can save the working copy or I can just close out the software and 
discard the changes and close the program and I'm done. Thank you.